Hi everyone! So I am very proud to report that my almost two and a half year old has been going to sleep in his own big boy bed for the last two weeks without any fuss. So we recently transitioned him from the crib to the big boy bed because his baby sister is outgrowing the bassinet and needs the crib. So it hasn't been a very easy transition but it's been a successful one and I did it in four phases and I learned a lot throughout the process. So in this week's video, I'm going to share with you all my tips and tricks on how I successfully transitioned my toddler from the crib to the big boy bed and how I get him to sleep without a fuss. So let's get to it. I'm Sabrina and I'm the creator of L'Atelier Coworking and The Focus Journal. For inspiring content and tips from a tidy working mom, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button to get notified on upcoming videos. So the first phase is to prepare your child psychologically for the transition. What we did is we started talking about it a lot. Every time we would see his favorite cartoon character or his cousin sleeping in a big kid bed, we would point it out to him casually. For example, Oh, look at Daniel the tiger! Daniel the tiger sleeps in a big boy bed and his baby sister Margaret sleeps in a crib. So yeah, we just started talking about it a lot and ideally we would have wanted it to be his idea to sleep in his big boy bed. The second phase was to get him familiar with this bed and create a positive experience right off the bat. So we started doing his story time in his big boy bed almost every night and this made him see this new bed as a place where he can relax and get ready for bed. Be careful though not to let them play too much in their new bed because that would make them think of it as a place to play as opposed to a place to sleep. So phase three of the transition was to start doing nap times in the big boy bed. At first, he did not want to nap in the big boy bed at all. So when we would tell him, do you want to nap in the crib? or nap in the big boy bed, he always chose to nap in the crib. But one day he did not want to nap at all. So we asked him, do you want to nap in the crib or do you want to do quiet time in the big boy bed? And of course he chose doing quiet time in the big boy bed because he didn't want to nap. And so he started doing his quiet time more and more in the big boy bed, except that he started falling asleep a lot of the times in the big boy bed. So this was a big success because we knew and he knew that he could actually fall asleep in his new bed. From then on, it became a lot easier for him to accept to sleep in his new bed. But the first few nights that he slept in his big kid bed were pretty rough because he was so excited that he had the freedom to get out whenever he wanted. So every time we would put him to bed, he kept getting out of bed. And the way to get around it is to stay consistent and to keep calm. It can be very frustrating when you put them to bed and they get out and you put them to bed again and then they get, get out again over and over. But you have to stay calm because if you get angry, that will not make them feel relaxed enough to fall asleep. The first few nights, um, it took a couple of hours for him to actually fall asleep. So every time he would get out of bed, we would take his hand and walk him back to bed and tuck him in. And we would say, it is now time to sleep, it is not time to play, just over and over again. And eventually he would just get really tired and fall asleep. So this is how we got over this challenge. Another challenge is that I made the mistake of staying in his room uh, until he fell asleep the first couple of nights. From then on, he wanted me to stay with him in the room the whole time. But I quickly realized that staying in his room until he fell asleep was a really bad habit. So after consulting with my, one of my friends, she told me about this method that is out there. And that is to do little peeks in the room every once in a while to make them feel safe. So when my son asked me to stay in the room with him, I told him, sorry, I cannot stay in the room, I'm very tired but I will peek in every once in a while and check in on you. So the first check-in would be like 30 seconds after I left the room, and then the second one would be about one minute after, and then five minutes after until he eventually fell asleep. So the first few nights were very rough because he would also sometimes get out of bed in the middle of the night and want to play. The way we got around that challenge was by getting a clock that you could program 
to turn green when it was time to get up. So we explained to him that when the light turns green, it is time to get up. And he quickly understood the concept and I highly recommend this clock. I forgot its name, but I'm going to mention it right here. The other thing that is really good with this clock is that you can program it to turn yellow or orange 15 or 30 minutes before his wake up time. That way, if he does wake up, he understands that he can be up, but he has to stay in his bed or in his room. I highly recommend this clock. So this is how I successfully transitioned my toddler from sleeping in a crib to a big kid bed. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful to you. If so, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them down below in the comments. I will see you in the next video.